Hello my pre-calculus student. In this video we are going to graph the sine parent function f of x equals sine of x. Uh, so to graph the sine parent function f of x equals sine of x, the first thing you have to do with that you have to go to your unit circle and you have to look for the maximum and the minimum. So on the unit circle, every single point on the circle give us two functions, cosine and sine. So since we only look at the sine function, I'm going to go ahead and look at the sine value, which is the y value at each point. You can see that the y value at, at each point, and we don't look at every single point because there are 16 points on the circle. We only look at four, four points. Uh, these are called quadrantal angle, which is the angle where the terminal side is on the x-axis or on the y-axis. So at 0 degree, the side is side 0 is 0. At 90 degree, side of 90 degree is 1. At 180 degree, side of 180 degree is um, 0. So you can see that it go, it increase from 0 to 1 degree back to 0. At 270 degrees, the side of 270 degrees is negative 1, so it decreases. And then at 360, it goes back to 0, so just one complete circle or one complete rotation. And the, the angle we're looking at right here, this is positive angle because we start from the initial side or the x-axis. We go counterclockwise. Now when we graph, we have to graph both positive angles and negative angles. So if you can look at here how we label the x-axis, you can see that we la we label positive angle from 0 to 360 degree, it increased by 90 degree. And we also label negative angle from 0 to negative 360 degree. Because now you go back to your circle and then we go clockwise from the x-axis, you go down. Uh, and the next step, after you label the x-axis, um, the next step you're going to do on the y-axis that you uh, you label the maximum and the minimum. So in this case, the maximum is one. So I'm just go ahead and and sketch a horizontal line y equal one, so that I know that the graph have to get to this have to have the y maximum is one and have to be oscillate between these two lines. And next, I'm going to go look for my minimum is negative one. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line again, y equal negative 1. So now we have three lines. We have the x-axis in the middle. We have the maximum about the x-axis, this horizontal line, and we have the horizontal line below the x-axis, which is the minimum. Now we go ahead and plot the point. So psi is a period periodic function, or we can say it, it is a circle function, so it repeats every 360 degrees. It means it's after one complete circle, you see exactly the same graph again and again. So let's start with 0 degrees. So at 0 degrees, psi of 0 is 0. So I have to point 0, 0. Um, at 90 degrees, psi at 90 degrees is 1, which is the maximum. So at 90 degrees, I'm going to have to plot the points. 90 comma 1. At 180 degree be 0. 270 degree be negative 1 which is the minimum. And 360 degree it go back to the beginning to the initial size so it will be 0 again. So now you have your three your three points. And you will connect this, this three points with a curve. So the graph increase from 0 to 90 and decrease from 90 to 180, and it continues to decrease to 180 to 270 degrees, and it increased back to 0 to 3, I'm sorry, to from 270 degrees to 360. So this is one complete period of the sine function. Now remember, sine is a periodic function. It repeats every period. So, you, so it means that the path the pattern will, con will continue to repeat again for the next two pi. So let's, um, I'm going to go back to the negative angle. So we'll start again. From zero is still zero. 
Let me go back this way. So if I go this way now, it's not going to be 270 degrees. It, it will be negative. So let me write down the number right on top. This will be negative 90 degrees. So at negative 90 degrees, you will have negative 1. Next. I'm end up with negative 180 degrees. You end up with zero. And then negative 270 degrees. You end up with the max, uh, maximum, which is one. And lastly, negative 360 degrees, which is you go back to where you where you were, so negative 360 degrees. And that will give me zero again. So now I have the five point. Now if you if you connect this five point, you will see exactly the same pattern. So increase, decrease, decrease, increase. So this will be two complete periods. Okay. So from here to here, this is one period. The period is two pi. Now period is the length of the distance. Always have to be positive. Even you are on the negative angle, it's still. So this is the second period. It's still two pi. Now half of the distance between your max and mean uh, or we can or I would say half of the height of the wave we call this with the amplitude so we call this is the amplitude so in this case the amplitude is 1 so let's go ahead and describe this describe this graph now so in this graph, we can see that um, the domain, because the graph is continuous, so the domain is all real number. Um, the y-intercept. The y intercept, which is where the graph intercept with the y axis, we only have one y intercept, so in this case the y intercept is zero. The x intercept What we can see right here that the x intercept for these two periods will be negative three sixty, negative one eighty, zero, one eighty, three sixty. So what have you noticed? This is just a multiple of 180, right? So 0 times 180, 1, 180, 2 times one, two 180. So I want to say the x in itself are multiple of 180. Or you can say n times 180 degree or n times pi radian where n belong to the set of integer. So n can be one, two, three, four, five or negative one, negative two, negative three and negative five so far. Um, let's move on to the symmetry. You can see that this graph is symmetry with the origin. So the symmetry is the is the origin. Therefore, this is an odd 
funk set. Now we also see that the graph oscillating or oscillation between negative one and po and positive one and we also see that the graph have periods is two pi the amplitude is one. Now maybe we should make a note in K if we do not know what it means. Um, the am the amplitude is half of the wave. Um, now we need to talk about the I think that's all we need oh yes we're missing the range okay so let's talk about the range so the range it will go from negative 1 to positive 1 So now let's write out this sum summary for this video. So in this video we learn how to grab we learn how to grab the sine parent function f of x equals sine of x and we describe the behavior of the graphs so we can list, list some big behavior that we um, describe we can see that um, the graph had periods 2 pi, amplitude one. Domain negative from negative infinity to positive infinity range from negative one to one only one y intercept. Just zero and X in the cell are multiple of one hundred eighty degrees 
or pi. The graph oscillate the sine graph. Oscillate between negative one and what? Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in class. Goodbye.